like, I just, I don't want to do this. Like, why do I do this? I, I hate this. I hate this so bad. I feel like I'm going to puke. But I don't feel like quitting or giving up or hating it so bad. I hate this. I hate this so bad. I feel like I'm going to puke. And I know it's because I want it and I want to be perfect and I want to win so hard. I had jello shoved in my sleeping bag when I would go to ski camp. I would ride numerous chairlifts alone. How am I not good enough? The hardest part is you, you can't be anybody. You just have to sit in a corner and just be nobody or be a ghost. And when you're young and you're growing up and you don't know why you're not liked or why your best friends are, you know, 40-year-old coaches or the parents of other ski racing kids. Um, it, it's not easy. It, it has its moments now when it creeps in. The way that I felt when I was a kid from when I was bullied. You doubt who you are, what you're doing, you doubt your characteristics or that you're never going to be good enough for anybody else, let alone yourself. On days when I feel fantastic about myself, it's easy. It's breezy, life goes on. But on days when I feel crappy or people are attacking my image or the way that I look or the size that I am, I have built my body to be a machine and it is the way that it is and I need to understand it's this way for a reason. I get called a man probably on a daily basis. Fine, if they're going to call you a man, be a man. But be a man with Olympic gold medal. And next year, when it's not Olympic year, you can look like a female. I don't personally think I'm a sex symbol. But for a lot of years, I wanted to be. I struggled internally with myself. I want to be able to, to feel attractive or to be attractive, and this is my shot. And, you know, I, I wanted to be sexy, and I wanted to make bobsleigh sexy. It's not that I didn't know how to do it, but I'm never going to be a size two, and I need to fully understand that. There's a an incessant need to push for perfect. If Barbie was a perfect person, she'd actually never be able to stand up because technically her legs are too long and her boobs are too big and she would fall over. She can't function. Literally, she can't even stand up by herself. But women are definitely judged differently than men for sexuality in sports. I've had comments made from reporters that you would never ask a man what color my hair is or if I'm going to do my makeup or what my lipstick is or what clothes I'm wearing or who I'm dating, if I'm on my period or random things that come up. I am a great bobsledder because of the size that I am and the shape and the physical ability that I have. And on bad days, I remind myself of that. A big part of my tattoos is overcoming that. My tattoos are my story, but they help me accept who I am and what I am. I've had roughly about 190 hours worth of tattoo work on my body. I have two guardian angel for everybody within my life that has passed on but has made a big difference or has been very close to me that I no longer have access to, but I know they're above watching over. The last time I saw my uncle, my godfather, um, it was at a big bobsleigh function, and I didn't pay enough attention. I wish I could go back and give him more time. I wish that I would have spent more time. He was there always to support, and, um, and he had to stay downstairs because he was in a wheelchair, and he couldn't come up with all my sponsors and all the family. And I had to be up there. I felt a very big responsibility to give back to the sponsors and all the people that were upstairs. And I said hi and I gave him a hug, expecting to be able to see him again. And I never did. I never saw him again. He ended up in the hospital 
not long after, and he ended up dying of a heart attack, I wish I could go back and redo that night. I wish I would have said fuck it to people upstairs. I wish I would have given him 20 or 30 minutes more just to say thank you, because that what that night was really about. life happens so I'm susceptible just like anybody else of real life that occurs within sport I get random thoughts all the time I mean I'm human I'll randomly think about my ex-husband going through the divorce process childhood I'll think about my sisters calling me gorilla man hands and my nickname there because I actually have ginormous hands and I'll be doing something with my hands in the sled and it'll just all of a sudden I'll come up and be like man gorilla man hands man I'll think about, I don't think I'm good enough. Like what if I show up and I just, I crash or I bomb or what if I suck and come seventh or what if, and all of these thoughts happen of, you know, self-doubt or not training enough or not. And then you panic of like, is this normal to think this way? What if it's not normal to think this way? What if everything just happened and now? And I was like, what am I doing? And I knew it was wrong, but I couldn't help it. But having a women's perspective of that and understanding, okay, well, this week I'm on my period and you're probably gonna be a little more crazy now. It's normal to feel that way and to be okay. It's normal to, to not quite fully feel yourself or you know what, for this week, you are gonna be about five pounds heavier. So we're gonna need to make sure we eat salads because we still have to make weight. That's life and you deal with that, but it was okay for me to think the way that I did or act accordingly and it didn't mean I wasn't gonna be successful or achieve my dreams. It was it was me being human or having a human moment and that happens and I've had to learn how to deal with that and still be able to stand on that certain line and, and turn it all off and compete.